Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have an unboxing video here. I grab my knife out of here. Sorry about the noise. Uh, this is a tour watch from the Random Rob Patreon group. Uh, Julie knife isn't the best thing to do these unboxings. Fortunately, I don't have my pocket knife on me today. So let's get this thing open. I forgot what watch this is, actually. I think it's a crown heart, crown meter, something like that. Yeah, crown heart. There we go. So... Cardboard outer box. Uh, looks like a nice box here. So let's zoom in and check this out. Is this, um, okay, there we go. Looks like it wasn't moving there for a second. So Looks like a quartz chronograph. I like this vintage leather strap. Let's go ahead and start it. Um, I don't know if this is a Seiko Mecha Quartz. I'm assuming this is a micro brand. I've not heard of this brand before. So there's a tachymeter scale on the inside there. Or maybe that's a, that could be a pulse meter. Yeah, 20 pulses, okay. So you have a 24 hour indicator at the three o'clock subdial, running seconds at the six o'clock subdial, and then the chronograph minutes at the nine o'clock subdial. Everything looks just to be uh, printed on there. I know there's a little bit of a, a lip there, so that is a, a subset subdial. The one at six o'clock is not, though that's just printed on. So a fairly smooth sweep there. I had to guess it's probably four beats per second. Let's stop that and reset and see if it snaps back. And it does. Let's look at the case back here. Crown Heart Semper Altus. Altus. Let's read in the etched portion there. Calibrated for 20 pulses. Water resistant 100 meter. That's pretty impressive for a chronograph. Sapphire Crystal 316L Stainless Steel. So I'll have to do a little bit of research and see if this is a uh, Mecha Quartz. I'm assuming it is. Let's just get it on wrist and um, we'll close out the video. Oh, quick release leather strap here. 20 millimeter lugs. Genuine leather. Okay, let's get this on wrist. I'm going to leave the chronograph running there. So I'm wearing my uh, Casio World Timer. This bracelet's not really all that comfortable, but it's not too bad either. I think it helps. It's a nice lightweight watch. If I were to... Well, I do have a couple chronographs, but... Um, I prefer a quartz chronograph just because they're lower price. You really don't notice the sweep of the second hand as much. But uh, I do appreciate mechanical chronographs. I still have my HK Ed over here. It's a tad bit smaller than this watch. 
So here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. I don't know the dimensions on this, but we'll go over that in the full review. And here we are uh, zoomed out on my six and a half inch wrist. So let me know what you think of this watch. Just a short little video here. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.